The attorney for a Naperville couple claims attempts to discipline their teenage son at school led to his death instead. Here's CBS 2's Dana Kozloff with what happened, what his family is doing about it. Corey Walgren was 16 when he jumped to his death from the top of this Naperville parking deck in January. His family says he did it an hour or so after Naperville North High School officials and a police liaison questioned him about possible images of a sexual encounter with a 16-year-old girl on his phone, telling him... Oh, he could be guilty, charged with child pornography, and he could be a registered sex offender. Family attorney Terry Eccles says they continued the harsh questioning even after realizing no pornographic images were on his phone. While waiting for his mom, Corey walked out of school and killed himself. If you look at the whole scenario of what they did and how they handle it and the outcome, they did a lot wrong. Which is why his parents have filed this lawsuit against Naperville School District 203 and the city. Echo says Corey wasn't read his Miranda rights, questioned by police without a parent present, and left unsupervised. To go from a normal happy kid to committing suicide, something very drastic had to happen. School and city officials call the incident difficult and tragic. City attorney Mike DeSanto adding, we ask the community to show patience and respect throughout the legal process. We're confident the school resource officer followed proper policies and procedures. A district spokesperson says officials continue to be incredibly saddened by Corey's death and are still offering grief counseling to other students. Corey's parents hope litigation will force some procedural changes on how to handle such matters in the future. Robin Erica. Okay, Dana, thank you. Mm -hmm.